Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I'm here with a tutorial on how I constructed um, or how I normally would construct a mini album using pop tab binding. And this mini album is my um, my Bow Bunny um, mini album. I'll put the link in the description box so you can see this video if you're interested. The mini album will not be constructed like this because this was a I made a mistake on it. It turned out really cute, but this is not how I wanted it to be. So this mini album is a six by six all the way around, and that was a problem. I did not allow enough space for my pop tabs to stick out, so um, I had to punch a hole out and then finagle some rings and stuff to make it to make it um, you know to make it work where it'll turn pages and stuff. So um, ideally, I want my pages to be six by six, but my mini album cover front and back cover to be a half an inch um, bigger. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to start from scratch. That's what most people wanted. I do have um, a tutorial on how I make my mini albums and um, just the binding with the accordion. I'll put that in the description box as well in case some of you are interested. So what you're going to need is two pieces of, this is lightweight, uh, medium weight chipboard, right? You know, medium weight chipboard and um, six and a half by six and a half. And my spines are always two inches by whatever the length of the uh, mini album is. And this is two by six and a half so that they will join together like so. So I am making this black, um, a black mini album. So I'm going to get two eight and a half by 11 sheets of cardstock and combine them together. And this is just using some cards textured card stock that I purchased at Joann. So all I'm using is some um, double sided adhesive to connect my two pieces together so that it'll be able to cover my chipboard pieces. So that's where the tape is. So all I'm going to do is right at the tape mark connect these two pages just like so get that rubbed in really well and then what I'm going to do for these two is just add some adhesive I'm going to add it all along the sides of all the chipboard pieces try to go through this a little faster um, so you guys don't have to sit through a 45 minute video so I'm just adding adhesive to you. this will be on the Darn it. This will be on the back, but sometimes I, when I realize that I need to put adhesive all on the chipboard pieces, um, is when when I move my cover, I can hear it crack a little bit on the inside. So that means my chipboard is kind of loose in there. So I find my spine or where I connect it to the two pieces. You can't see it because I, this is a black mini out paper, but I, where you connected your two eight and a half by eleven pieces. Put your middle piece right dead center so that can be your spine of your book. So that line is right in the middle of this chipboard piece. Then you want to allow an eighth of an inch gap. I eyeball it, but you can measure just a little space for your next two pieces. There we go. So that's that. I feel like I am just way too close here. Let's see if we can pull back. Okay. Hopefully that helps. Alright. So that's that. Make sure that that's nice and tight. I'm going to take my adhesive. I like to do it this way. And I would do it right when it's running out. So I'm going to get... The only other one I have is this quarter inch, which will work fine. This is some double sided adhesive as well. Just find the opening here. Da -da -da. And I am just going to run adhesive all along the base of my entire mini album, or uh, chipboard covers rather. That's how I put my um, tape on here. I'm going to add a little bit more adhesive, but first I'm going to score 
my um, around here so that it'll fold a little bit easier and all I do is just follow along the chipboard piece that's all just make an impression kind of like breaking the paper right along the chipboard piece and do that to all four sides and then I'm just gonna just fold it over Hold it over on all the sides and attention to the corners. So if I'm going too fast, again, I do have a tutorial on the base, constructing the base of this, but I just want to do this part from start to finish for you guys. All I'm doing is evening out the edges of the paper so it could be a kind of the same length all the way around or about the same length. So that's how that looks. So right where the corners meet, there's a little X right here. You want to mitre your corners right above that X, just like so. And then I'm going to do that all the way around. So you should have your mini album should look like this. Okay. So at this point, I am going to add some more adhesive to um, these flaps. Just make sure that's on there good. Use my little sharpie thing what do you call this my exacto knife to pull up this tape and I'm just gonna pull up the tape all the way around now that all the tape is removed I am going to and I like to start on the end I just do start wherever you want to start I am just gonna fold that over and then use my bone folder kind of crease it do the other side same with that and it makes it when you pre score it it makes it so much easier to fold your flaps over I mean they just fall over without hesitance fold that over so at this point all you want to do is just be very careful because your paper will crack and slowly fold your uh, crease your paper at where your book is going to fold and there we go so this book measures see and there's your spine right in the middle this book measures six and a half by six and a half and then that will fit our full six by six pages in there okay so what I want to do now is I'm going to add my um, base sheets because I've already pre-cut them out so since I'm here and we're doing this together, we're going to go ahead and add our, do it, do it all together at the same time. So I've just layered um, a piece of craft cardstock and the cardstock is cut at, I think it's cut at six, no it's cut at five and three quarters by five and three quarters and then I just layered another piece of paper on top of that. So I'm just seeing where I want to put this and that's where it's going to go. So that's going to go there. And then I have another piece. I'm just adding some ATG tape to the back. And I'm going to put this piece up here. Kind of match it up with the other side. Make sure I got it all lined up correctly so this is where we this is what we have so far now next thing that I'm going to do is I have a connecting piece that's why these don't go down all the way because um, I have a connecting piece to go over this and this is cut at six and a quarter by six so that's going to fit right there. 
So that's just going to go there. Get that all secure. And then I'm just going to take my bone folder and lightly trace the crease, just lightly, a little pressure, just to help it bend a little more. Let's see where we at. That's where we are. Just a little bit. So slowly fold that over. Make sure you put enough adhesive on here so this doesn't crack up. Fold up when you see it lays flat. Make sure you put enough adhesive all around the edges. So this is what we have so far. This is what you should have. So uh, we'll set this aside for a moment. And then we are going to get the pop tabs out. Now I save my pop tabs and have everybody save them for me. And um, here's a few of them. These are just the pop tabs, period. They're just some red wool in here. There's some different designs in here, but I try to match them all up so the ones that I want, you know, all match together. So with these, you can alcohol ink. I've alcohol inked some. I've acrylic painted some. I've spray painted the white. The ones I just did in the mini album, I spray painted them white. These I spray painted um, black. And then since this is going to be a boys mini album, I went over them with, and I got them up a little early, I went over them with, um, you can't even tell, um, the heat tool. After um, after a little bit, I sat them outside to dry for like 30 minutes. And then I went over them with the heat tool to bubble them up, to make them a little bit more, you know, grungy-esque. And I spray painted both sides. You have to wait till they fully dry before you flip them over. You can use E6000 or you can use Glossy Accents. Glossy Accents have worked in the past. So has hot glue. Hot glue rips. Uh, when you rip it, when you move your paper too harsh, it just rips off. Whereas, which is fine. I mean, it, it's, if, you, if you're nice and neat and you're not manhandling your mini album, that works. But I find that Glossy Accents work a little bit better because it adheres to the paper. Maybe probably because it's a liquid glue. So I've cut up. My mini album will be five one two three four five sheets um in total and i've cut five pieces of lightweight chipboard in black cut that up and and that's six by six so if you don't want your mini album pages to be six by six and you want to save on chipboard because you get a 12 by 12 piece of chipboard you have to get two of them because, of course, you can't do six and a half by six and a half because you have to use two pieces of chipboard. So if you want to shrink it so you can use, you know, the one piece, you you cut your mini album um, chipboard at six by six, and then you just cut your pages down to five and a half by five and a half, and you have a smaller page. You can do that as well. So um, this is the um, lightweight chipboard that I have, and I have and that's cut at six by six and then I have uh, layered a mat that's an eighth inch smaller in craft cardstock and then another piece of pattern paper an eight inch eighth of an inch smaller than that just like so so what I'm going to do is adhere this to the page And this is going to be my base page. So I will take two of my pop tabs. And make sure you pay attention to the direction of the Z. This one has a square and a circle. Both of, all of these have a square and a circle. So you just decide which end you want it on. And I always have my circle at the facing the outside of the mini album. Just for some odd reason. And you place it where you want it at. And I like mine to be... You can measure if you want, but I like mine to be about an inch from the top and then an inch from the bottom. I like how that looks. It's not leaving too much room in the middle for, for it to gape or anything. So you just want to line them up evenly. And the way that I, how I'm judging how far to go in is I'm using my mat. So it's an inch here 
and then inch from the bottom as far as where the line is. But this middle connecting piece right here, I've lined up at the same place on both um, pop tabs. So I am matching it up with my my photo mat of my pattern paper, matching that line up with that. That's that can help you to figure out, you know, make sure that you're pretty pretty accurate. It's not going to be perfect, but that's where my pop tabs will be. So I just take my glossy accents and then I just add some this or E6000. I just add some to the bottom half. So I just added it across here and around. So flip it over. Make sure you know where you have them at. And you just want to place it down. You don't want to put too much because what? It will drizzle out. And mine drizzled just a smidgen. But I'm going to grab um, wet wipe and just soak up some of that. There we go. So you just want to hold that there. You want to put something heavy on top of it while that sits and thinks. And then I'm going to do the other one. Being careful not to let it come out as much. See? Right around the edge. Inch from the bottom. Or inch from the top. Right on the line. Hold it down. So you'll have to hold it. Oh shoot, you'll have to hold it for a little bit until it sets. And then once it sets, you know, like a 30 seconds to a minute or so, I place something hard on top of it or place it to the side and let it dry. And just don't mess with it. Let it sit. It'd be preferable if you can do all your pages and let them sit overnight. But, um, you know, you can figure that out um, as you go. So, these have... Some of this glue off. Okay. These have both. They're they're where I want them to be. So that's it. So I am going to set this aside and um, let that dry, and then I will come back and show you how to attach it to the mini album. Uh, so you want to do the rest of the pages at this point. You want to do the rest of your pages so you can. You come back and then um, by the time that they all dry, you can get your mini album together. Okay, I'm back. And then it's been about 10 minutes and this is okay enough for me to work with to be able to um, show you the rest of the video so we can at least get this part done. And then while I was waiting, I went ahead and matted my, my front and back covers with uh, the craft card stock and the pattern paper. And then I also matted my spine which is important because we'll need that to be complete for this next step so I have in my hand four eyelets they're three sixteenths of an inch I'm gonna grab my crocodile and um, very easy part here all you want to do is grab your um, paper with your pop tabs on them and then this is your spine so you just want to kind of, so you have all of your papers, you, you'll have all of your papers lined up here and you're cent, you'll center it just so you can know what you're doing. But you don't want your uh, pop tabs at the spine, right by the spine, because it will not allow a lot of room. So just center um, your pop tabs somewhere in the middle. So I'm moving over, I hope you guys can get this, let me move up a little bit. So I have my page here. My pop tab is about a half, I mean my page is about a half an inch in. If you can see where the spine is, I have about a half an inch in. And that is where I am going, and then you want to make a center, top and bottom. And then right there is where I'm going to make a little mark of where I'm going to uh, put my eyelet. Alright, I'm just grabbing a pen. So I'm going to put my eyelet here and then an eyelet here. Okay. 
and I'm going to flip it over, or not flip it over, but turn it, and do the same thing on the other side. Just like about a half an inch in, line it up with your other one. There's no real measuring here. You can actually put these holes anywhere. You just want to make sure the holes line up with this space on the mini album centered. You just want to make sure there's a hole, two holes here. One hole here, one hole here. Scoot it over a little bit. One hole here, one hole here. That's really what you're doing. So I'm going to take the large part of my eyelet, I mean my crocodile, and it won't fit. So I am going to grab my big bite. Be right back. Got my big bite here. And I'm going to just punch a hole right where I have it at. Hold here. Hold there. So that's all I did. Two holes. Flip it over and do it the other side. In the general vicinity. Can't see. So all you want to do is make sure your holes, basically all you want to do is just make sure your holes line up with each other. Make sure they line up here and here and then here and here. That's it. Four holes. It's nothing too difficult. So now I'm just going to put my eyelets in. Just up to the front. That one in. Get the second one here, flip it around, this one here, and my last one, yeah, all done, all done, that's the inside, love how that looks. So now, we have all of our pages done. At this point, all of them are lined up. You want to make sure all of your pages are lined up exactly how you want them to be. Nice and neat. And then I'm just going to use some twine for the sake of the video. I may change it as the paper, as the mini album, you know, makes itself. And all I'm doing is threading the ribbon, with twine, whatever you choose to use, through the first eyelet hole. Then through the circle or the pop tab, and then out, and then the rest of the pop tabs, and then out the back door. And then I'm going to tie that into a loose knot for now. And I'm going to grab some more, do the same thing for the bottom. I'm going to go in through the spine, then through pop tab, then out, out the spine to the back. You want to do that for all of your pop tabs. Tie that in a knot. And that's it. So this is not, obviously, it's not going to look like that. Let me at least try to trim it up a little bit. So you'll have your big ribbon over here or whatever you're going to use, your um, twine or your jute rope or your seam binding or what have you. And then on the inside, you have all of your pages will be here. Of course, you want to tie this um, tight once you get done. And then all of your pages will be set here and then they'll turn nice and evenly. So that's it, guys. I hope this was helpful for you it was it's very easy the the hardest thing I guess is um, maybe measuring the pop tabs and get them glued on I think but I mean even that's easy but just tedious so I am going to finish the rest of my mini album and um, you'll see it in another video maybe at the end of this one or maybe in another one so thanks guys for watching bye